What's up guys, it's Clint here from Mountain Movement. Today we're going to show you what a TRP brake bleed looks like. The basic tools you'll need for this service are To start things off, we'll need to clean and prepare the brake system with a clean rag and isopropyl alcohol. Next, we'll remove the pads and install the bleed block. Once the bleed block is installed, then we'll thread our filled syringe to the caliper. Next, we'll remove the bleed port plug at the lever and install the bleed cup with the plug installed. Then remove the plunger to start the bleed. Holding the syringe above the caliper to ensure that there are no air bubbles in the line, push fluid from the syringe to the cup. With the cup halfway filled, we will now perform a reverse bleed by pulling the lever several times until there are no visible air bubbles coming up to the cup. Now reinstall the plunger and remove the syringe from the caliper bleed port. Remove the plunger, pull and flick the lever until the lever fuel is firm, then reinstall the plunger. Once the plunger is installed, we can now remove the bleed cup and reinstall the bleed port plug. Once the bleed port plug is installed, we can now clean the lever and caliper with a clean rag and isopropyl alcohol. Now that the caliper is clean, remove the bleed block and replace the pads. Once we've got the brake system cleaned up, then we can slap that front wheel back on, adjust your brake, and hit the trails.